Greetings, in this video I'm here to help you fix an Amazon Fire tablet that is running slow, very sluggish performance. It will freeze periodically or just slow going to screen to screen. That can happen. Um, first thing I want you to do is rule out that it's not the Wi-Fi. So it could be that the Wi-Fi, like if you have several people running the network or on the network, they're watching TV, playing Fortnite, whatever, a slow Wi-Fi will make your tablet slow. So make sure that there's no one else using it. Or you could take the tablet closer to the router and see if that will fix it. You could do a soft reset on the router, unplug the router from the wall, the Wi-Fi router, plug it back in, and then see if it's a fast performance. Again, it could just be the Wi-Fi network. All right. Next thing I want you to do is do a hard restart. And it's different than just a regular restart. What you want to do is you're going to hold the power button for about 40 seconds to a minute. Don't let go until it completely shuts down. And what that's going to do is that's going to um, that's going to close out any apps that are um, it's going to close out any apps that may be running. Next thing I want you to do is go to settings, and we're going to look at the apps. So what we're going to do is apps and notifications. These are all your recent apps, and see if any of them are running that you're not familiar with or you don't want it to be running. All right, and so uh, go ahead and click on one of them. And then you can force stop if you know that you're not using it. If you definitely are never using it again, go ahead and click uninstall. The less space or the more space that you have available on your tablet, the faster it'll be. Look at see all apps. So I got 78 apps. Look at all these, all these games. Go ahead and hold one down and then click uninstall if you know you'll never use it again. Or you can always go back and reinstall it later. But the more space you got, the better. One thing, uh, culprit, I want you to look at is TikTok. TikTok takes a gig and a half. A huge hog space. And plus, I don't like anybody spying on me. So, uninstall TikTok. It actually came with the tablet, I believe. Or force stop them. All right. Next thing what I want you to do is let's go to uh, battery. And battery, what I want you to do is put low power mode on. Mine's currently off. But if it's sluggish, go ahead and and uh, turn that on. Go to display settings. Brightness level, you might want to dim it a little bit to help, help with the efficiency. All right, go to sleep. And right now it's on five minutes. So in other words, if I put it down, I'm getting coffee or going to the bathroom, it'll stay on. For five minutes while I'm away, you might want to change that to a minute, or some, you know, minute or two minutes. All right. Now, next thing I want you to do is I want you to go to apps and notifications, and I want you to go back to see all apps, and go all the way down to where you see settings. Click on it. Click on storage, and then I want you to clear storage and then clear cache. Cache is basically short term memory on it and then uh, get out of it restart and then see if that will help you um, if you still have stuff on here that you want to keep and it's taking a lot of space go ahead and store store on an SD card some of them are located up here this one here I think is on the side so get you an SD card they're anywhere from 10 or 20 bucks try to give it as much memory as possible if you can get 256 gigabyte that's good and store stuff on the on the uh, on the SD card, and that can um, help you a lot. Now, next thing I want you to do, go back to settings, and go all the way down to device options, and then click system update, and that can take a few minutes, and then see if that will that will fix your problem. A lot of times that will fix uh, the problem. And we talked about removing unnecessary apps and uninstall it. Again, it's going to help. Um, we didn't mention the power cord. A lot of times, if you, especially if you're low on power, you might need to replace your power cord or use a different USB port. So, for example, if I have it hooked up to a laptop on a particular USB port, try a different USB port because some are 2.0, some are 3.0. You want 3.0. All right. That can affect your performance. Um, or better yet, use a wall outlet. And that could help your performance. I realize a lot of you don't have it plugged in all the time. But that could actually affect it big time. 
Now, after you've done all that and nothing works, the best thing, the healthiest thing you can do for a tablet is to do a factory reset. Full factory reset, make it bring you out of the box. To do that, you just go to settings. You go all the way down to device options and you click reset to factory defaults. Yes, it will erase all your pictures and your videos and it'll be like it's brand new. But go ahead and back up all your stuff beforehand and you'll find you'll make it into a brand new tablet sometimes. All right. It's well worth it even, even if you're not having problems with performance. If the tablet's like a year or two old, go ahead and do a factory reset. All right. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.